Today, I'd like to show you how I start my null binding. Having threaded my needle, I'm going to take the long end, place the tail of it between my fingers, my pointer finger and my thumb. I'm going to take this and wrap it down and around my thumb so that it forms a loop around my thumb. It's about at the cuticle, which is where I'm going to keep my tension. I'm going to slide my needle under the cross and the threads can either be parallel or together. It really crossed, it doesn't make much difference. And keeping that firmly together and put my needle semi perpendicular to my thumb. And I'm going to pop this loop off the tip of my thumb, just drop it off. I'm going to pinch holding firmly with my forefinger, not with just the tip, but with my whole pad of my forefinger over the loop and the needle. Because when I pull this needle, I only want the thread that is on the needle to be moving. I don't want any of this to move. I don't want these loops or any of that to move. Okay, this is going to fall towards me. I'm going to point my thumb away from me, stretching my arm out. And then I'm going to grab the needle and pull towards me. This is so that a new loop will form around my thumb and not pop off it automatically. Now you'll see I have a loop around my thumb. Now you'll notice it's kind of off center here a little bit. So I'm going to pinch this and pull it down. So it's a little more off center in the other direction, okay? Makes it easier to work because my needle's flat and I'm gonna to need to be working through this loop and under that cross. And my thumb is flatter in this direction than this. My needle doesn't bend that way. So I prefer to keep it flat. So you notice that the new loop also formed over the cuticle of my thumb. That's where I'm keeping my tension. It's in a standard place, standard tension. Now for this first loop, I'm going to touch the needle to my thumb. I'm going to slide out under that loop. Notice the needle staying relatively perpendicular. I'm going to lay the needle over the top of the loop. And then I'm going to go under the working strand and the loop around my thumb. So under the cross. And I'm going to pinch. I'm going to turn my needle relatively perpendicular, but not entirely. Drop the thumb loop off. Reset the needle so that it is underneath my cuticle and perpendicular because my thread will follow where my needle goes. And if my needle is over here, it's going to want to go this way. And I want it to go here. So keeping the needle relatively perpendicular, I'm going to pinch properly with my full thumb and forefinger so that the only thing that moves is the thread. Point my thumb away from me, pull towards me to form a new thumb loop. Now I have two loops. And you can tell because I've got this one that floats over the top. That was the last loop around my thumb and the previous loop that goes under the loop that is currently around my thumb. And I'm going to, because I wish to do Mammon instead of Oslo, I'm going to slide, touch the tip of my thumb, slide out through the two loops, over the two loops, under the cross, which is my working strand and my thumb loop. Pinch the whole thing, drop the thumb loop, reset my needle underneath my cubicle, make sure that my working thread is falling towards me, point away from me, and pull towards me to form a new thumb loop. And now I have three loops on my thumb. So I have the last loop that came off my thumb that isn't connected under anything. The loop prior to it, which is connected under the loop around my thumb, but then not under anything further. And then the first loop, which is under the loop around my thumb and under the next loop before it comes up to the edge. I am only going to take the last two. So I'm going to touch the needle to my thumb, slide out through the last two loops, over them, both of them, and under the cross. I'm gonna pinch over the top of that, drop my thumb loop off, reset my needle so that it's perpendicular to my cuticle, make sure that my working thread is falling towards me, point away from me and pull down my thumb to form a new thumb loop. And then I'm just going to continue. So touch the tip of my thumb, slide out through my two loops, 
over the two loops, under the cross, pinch, drop, reset, point away from me and pull. Got a little bit of a knot in my yarn here. Need to work out. There we go. For me, a new thumblet. And then I'm just going to keep going. So this is just to begin, and I'm just making a chain. So touch tip of my thumb, slide out through my loops over by loops, under the cross. Now, when I'm working this as if I'm working it at regular speed, I don't tip up quite so much. I just slide out through the two loops, over the two loops, under the cross. I only tip my thumb up that much when I'm lost and I want to see exactly what it is that I'm doing. So if I'm really lost, I can turn my thumb up so that I can see what exactly is going on and where the loops are under them over under the cross. Oops, I didn't get under both parts, very important. And that's how I start. 